Welcome to another episode of Eric Waite Whiskey Studies. And in this series, I'm sharing my trip that I took in uh, July 2019, spent two days in London and two weeks traveling around Scotland, visiting distilleries and meeting up with a few fellow whiskey tubers. So on my second day uh, in Scotland, I had uh, previously, the day before, met up with Roy of Aquavite. We had visited Annandale Distillery and then I went from Glasgow to the Kintyre Peninsula to visit three distilleries in Camelton. Now, there's a couple different ways in which you can travel from Glasgow to Camelton. You can actually take a small plane there, but that wouldn't be my first choice. You can also go sort of up and around, take the long route around the water, or you can do what I did, which is I went from Glasgow due west to the town of Andrasen. And then from Andrasen, you can catch a ferry to Camelton. You can also, if you wanted to, visit the Isle of Arran. You could go uh, to Arran as well. But you take the uh, ferry to Camelton. It's about, if I recall correctly, about an hour and a half. And it's a nice, leisurely trip. Now, when you think of a ferry, you think of perhaps just getting on a boat and going somewhere. But these are almost like mini cruise ships. They have a real nice restaurant. They have a bar. In fact, I sampled an Aaron 14 year old uh, during the trip. They also have a little gift shop and they have really nice viewing decks. And I would say one of the main things is on the approach going into Camelton, it's really quite a spectacular view. Sort of reminds me of when I went to uh, Isla uh, the year before and later on in this trip, when I went up to uh, Orkney. Well, this day was more of a travel day. I didn't visit any distilleries on my second day in Scotland uh, because I was spending so much time on the road. So I, I went from Camelton and drove up to the Stonefield Castle. The Stonefield Castle was built in 1837 and it stands high on the famous Kintyre Peninsula, offering guests spectacular panoramic views over the Loch Fine. The castle has been uh, converted into a hotel. So when you're traveling around Scotland, you can stay at uh, bed and breakfast, you could stay at your major chain hotels, which sometimes I did, sometimes they have more of the accommodations you're looking for, or you can stay at some really cool castles. And I stayed at one last year, I stayed at the Darnock Castle in my June 2018 trip, and I stayed at a couple of castles during this trip as well. At Stonefield Castle, you can relax in the traditional wood paneled lounges with ornate ceilings or unwind on leisurely walks through the 60 acres of woodland grounds and gardens or simply enjoy a leisurely pace of life far removed from the stress of city living. The castle has 36 individual en route bedrooms with views over the gardens or Loch Fine itself and it has a fantastic bar and a really superb dining room in which you get a fantastic view of Loch Fine below. If you're going to be staying on the Kintar Peninsula, I highly, highly, highly recommend staying at the Stonefield Castle. So after spending all day on the road and, and traveling across the water on a ferry, I uh, spent the night at Stonefield Castle. Well, the next morning I drove back down the coast of the Kintar Peninsula to Camelton and my first stop was at Springbank Distillery. The Springbank Distillery is a family owned distillery on the Kintar Peninsula. It's owned by J&A Mitchell and Company who also owns Glengal Distillery and the oldest independent bottler William Cadenheads and several blended Scots labels. Uh, it was licensed in 1828 and it is one of the last surviving producers of single malt whiskies in Camelton, an area that had at one time over 30 active distilleries. The distillery produces three types of peated and unpeated malt whiskey and that it bottles under three distinct brands. The majority of its distillate is bottled as a single malt with a small percentage sold to larger blenders or ending up in one of the J&A Mitchell's owned blended scotch labels, such as the Campbellton Lock. So the Springbank Distillery is a very old school distillery with its own malting floors and everything is done by hand without the aid of computers.
So after doing a tour, um, we did a tasting of a number of their uh, core range, and then they had a few uh, distillery exclusive bottles, one of them being the Springbank uh, Fresh Sherry Cask, eight year old uh, cask strength. This is uh, was distilled in March 2011. It was released in the 23rd of May 2019. Uh, it is bottled at 56.8% alcohol by volume, and this is only one of 1,100 bottles. Now, one of the things I want to encourage you to do, and, and, and if you can, to visit distilleries is there's always these distillery exclusive bottles. Also, to enjoy the countryside, to meet the people, to get a sense of the culture and the history. But sometimes some of these rare bottles you can also get on the secondary market, but there's going to be a huge markup. Uh, I've actually seen this one go for uh, at auction uh, for about 175 pounds, which is over $200 a bottle. I did not pay that much for this whiskey. Now, I've already gotten past the shoulder. Really, really enjoy this whiskey. Uh, it is, I would say particularly for Springbank, it is a bit of a sherry bomb. You know, when we think of heavily sherry uh, cash, you might think of Glendronic. In fact, if you were to taste this blind or smell it blind, you might be even confuse it for something, and yet it still has the sort of um, uniqueness of Campbellton. It does have very intense wood characteristics as well. So fig, dates, raisins, I get coffee. I get a heat, uh, a hint of smoke, raisins, dates, pecans. Caramel, uh, crystallized honey, a little bit of nuttiness. All right, on the pot. Unbelievably intense. This is a whiskey that can take some water and improve it with water. It is intense aromas and flavors. It is really, really a, quite a bunch of aromas and flavors. And yet, if you put a little bit of water, it not only brings down the AB, ABV a little bit, softens it a little bit in terms of a little bit of a tingle and a bite, uh, but it actually opens up a lot more. When I first tasted it from as a neck pour, I was feeling a little bit like I was sort of biting into a chunk of wood. That wood characteristics was really dominating. But I think now that it's had a little bit of time to open up, um, that's become much more integrated. Um, but I'm actually getting like pecans and walnuts, black walnuts, uh, and it's a really nice nutty character on the back end. It kind of reminds me of the sort of gift plates people give at Christmas time that have dried fruits on them, um, the fig, they put dates, uh, they put, might even have dried uh, peaches on there, and then they'll, they'll put in nuts in there as well. It sort of fits in, 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 along with that. Mm. And if you like to have your whiskey on ice, this is spectacular on ice. I would say it sort of becomes a little bit more creamier in texture, and it's got a super long finish. As I'm talking, I'm still tasting it now. This is a wow whiskey. Absolutely spectacular. Now, what would I give this in terms of a score? Um, I'm going to go 95 points. 95 points. This is definitely going into probably my top, one of my top 10. And the competition for 2019 for the top 10 is going to be tough, but definitely a contender uh, for a top 10 for 2019. Alrighty, uh, I hope you have enjoyed this view. This is not a strict review video, nor are these vlogs in, in, a, in a strict sense, uh, but I'm sharing with you my journey as I travel around Scotland, as well as uh, sharing a little bit of some of the treasures I brought back as well. Uh, if you subscribe to this channel, I want to thank you very much. If you haven't yet subscribed, but you like watching my videos, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe. And if you want to be notified when I go live or post a new video, you're going to want to ring that bell. All right, until next time, cheers. Hey, if you like my review, be sure to check out these other whiskey videos.